All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is uh, Seven Minutes Ago, The Rock Slammed Mel Gibson for Leaking Oprah's Secrets in Sound of Freedom. Guys, we've been seeing a lot about Sound of Freedom lately. Um, I definitely support the whole meaning of it. If you want to help, you know, protect the children, I'm all for that, absolutely. But there's been a lot of celebrities lately, apparently, who have been talking about this very specific thing. I wonder why. Let's get it, guys. When I came over here, I was, oh, God, I was in my, my uh, mid-20s. Right. The first time I really came over. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird, paranoid suspicions. I believe that they gave me a raw deal because this industry is a monster. It's the same monster that these Me Too was trying to tell you about. But about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. First time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird, paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. You're seven years old and someone is stroking you. It feels good. Our future is our children. Bro, now, the first step what is that? Is, the crime, <laughs> is awareness. Guys. Mel Gibson's shocking revelations in the movie Sound of Freedom and the alleged involvement of Hollywood's elite in some seriously scandalous activities have caused quite a stir in Tinseltown, and Hollywood elites have emerged and are furious about it today. Despite having a star-studded cast and crew, this is going to be a crazy trip. So It's funny, I did not know that there were a lot of celebrities in that movie. I haven't seen it, guys. Um, I know it's in theater near me, right? But I haven't seen it. Um, the main character, I know he's super famous, but who else is in here, guys? Despite having a star-studded cast and crew, this is going to be a crazy trip. So fasten your seatbelts. The movie Sound of Freedom by Alejandro Gomes Monteverdi has managed to stay unnoticed. The film explores the murky world of illegal human trafficking, revealing shocking methods used by the privileged to trap unwary individuals mm. in their pernicious networks. Guys, really quickly, the I would say personally, for me at least, only the lead character is, um, yeah, only the lead character is famous. Like really, really famous. These other people I've never seen in my entire life, guys. Um, but all right, let's get it. You might be wondering why this important movie hasn't received more publicity, press coverage, or support. Why isn't a film starring a recognizable actor, a recognizable director, and promotional material from none other than Mel Gibson himself being shown in theaters? It would seem that the film's theme has stirred up some strong emotions. The film suggests that some of Hollywood's most influential figures may have engaged in these types of illicit activities, and one guy whose name has been linked to everything is none other than the renowned online rumors about Oprah Winfrey have been rife with derogatory remarks. Some online trolls assert that she has used her powerful talk show as a recruiting tool for potential victims, grooming them, and promising them possibilities for achievement. What do you think about these allegations? Do you believe there could be any truth to them? Or do you think they're unfounded, however? It has been suggested that other notable figures such as Jamie Foxx and Dwayne The Rock Johnson could also be involved in this scandal? People have also claimed that Oprah's what? silence on the matter is only making the situation worse and lowering her image as people speculate if she is guilty or not. All right, so guys, we definitely saw one of these videos a couple of days ago uh, regarding Jamie Foxx and uh, that other video didn't say anything similar to that. Um, for the most part, Jamie Foxx kind of was um, kind of like somewhat of a victim here, guys, right? But um, now they're saying that Jamie Foxx is a part of it, guys? What's happening? ...situation worse and lowering her image as people speculate if she is guilty or not. The Rock Johnson, Dwayne has not been spared his global charity activity, is allegedly a cover for his scandalous activities, according to online accusers who claim that he utilizes these visits to find potential victims in weak regions. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has responded to the allegations made against him with anger and amazement. He has been outspoken about his frustration and has categorically denied being involved in any such actions. However, the question that needs to be addressed is why these allegations are only now becoming public and what that means for the future of Hollywood. Dwayne allegedly made angry reports. I've dedicated my career to entertaining people and improving the world, not participating in the horrific activities this film suggests. I categorically deny any involvement in such activities and will fight these allegations with everything I've got. I recently deleted a tweet that expressed disbelief to these allegations. 
respond to The Rock regarding the backlash about the movie and all the hate he's been getting online recently, The Rock not only refutes the charges, but he takes serious offense to the fact that they were even suggested he clearly denies any involvement in such heinous crimes. Guys, did they name drop The Rock? In the sound of freedom or something, guys. While emphasizing his dedication to entertaining people and making the What's world crazy a better is I've place, never heard none he of these things. Also indicates that he is willing to defend himself against these claims using every resource he's got. But the question remains: Is this response enough, given the severity of the allegations and the influence that The Rock has? Should he be doing more? Should he be using his platform to raise awareness about human trafficking to support victims and to advocate for stricter laws and enforcement? Now you might be wondering why did Mel Gibson decide to promote? sound of freedom when he could be putting himself in such hot water with his Hollywood peers. Oh, we can't speak for Gibson himself. We can make some educated guesses based on the film's content. Yeah, apparently Dwayne The Rock Johnson was named in a $3 billion lawsuit regarding taking someone, bro. Apparently, at least what I'm reading right here. Right? Uh, this is coming from EV Magazine. That's the source, guys. Um, but I ha but I don't see anything about it anywhere else, though, guys. Um, but let's get And Gibson's past work throughout his career, Mel Gibson has never shied away from controversy. In his career, he has demonstrated a willingness to broach challenging and frequently uncomfortable themes. His filmmaking with themes of oppression, sacrifice, and the struggle for independence. Films like Braveheart and The Passion of the Christ have not only amused viewers, but have provoked discussions about history, faith, and human rights. In keeping with this tradition, the movie explores the global problem of human trafficking, which affects millions of people yet is frequently ignored in Hollywood. As he has done throughout his career, Gibson is once again using his position to promote this movie and raise awareness of a critical subject. Mel Gibson's filmography is evidence of his persistent interest in stories based on actual accounts of bravery, resiliency, and the indomitable human spirit. Tales of people who have, against all odds, shown incredible bravery and resilience in the face of difficulty are abundant throughout his filmography. This theme inclination is best exemplified by the song Sound of Freedom. Tim Ballard, a former government agent who took the bold step to leave the safety of his position to undertake a dangerous mission, is brought to life in the movie. Ballard dedicated his life to the heroic cause of rescuing children caught up in the horrifying web of human trafficking, risking everything in the process. This narrative is not just a tale of heroism but also one of profound meaning. Perseverance and sacrifice Ballard's journey is filled with risk and uncertainty, but his unflinching dedication to his mission propels him forward. His story is a testament to the strength of the human will and the extents to which one can go when motivated by a purpose greater than oneself. Is perfectly in line with the themes that Gibson has previously explored in his work, like the battles in Braveheart and the challenges with faith in the passion of the Christ in Voice of Freedom. Gibson continues to delve into tales that demonstrate the resilience of the human spirit in the face of seemingly insurmountable circumstances. Gibson carries on this tradition by illuminating a troubling area of our world and emphasizing the valiant efforts of those battling it. The movie is a moving reminder of what's really going on in the globe. Horror that still exist and the remarkable people who devote their lives to battling them. It's a story that not only connects to Gibson's earlier works, but also demonstrates his dedication to conveying tales of real-life heroes and their unflinching resiliency. However, there's another level to take into account. Given Gibson's frequently tense relationship with Hollywood, the movie hypothesizes that some of Hollywood's elite are engaged in these illegal activities. It's possible that he views Sound of Freedom as a means of confronting the business and starting a discussion about its power structures. We encourage you, the viewers, to think about these issues, but we also invite you to conduct your own research and come to your own conclusions as we conclude our in-depth analysis of the movie Sound of Freedom. However, keep in mind that these are merely speculations and that you should take them with a grain of salt because the only person who can truly explain Mel Gibson's motivations for pushing Sound of Freedom is Mel Gibson himself. Absolutely. It is evident that we have extensively examined its disquieting revelations and the discussions it has provoked. As we wrap up, we want to remind you to stay connected with us by hitting the subscribe button. By doing so, you join our community. All right, guys, listen. So when it comes to like... You know, taking people's children and then, you know, 
doing all types of craziness. I don't think anyone on this planet, hopefully not every anyone on this planet. Well, how about this here? There's a small group of people, most likely, who are absolutely you know interested in in procuring children for illicit needs, guys, right? Um, but obviously, you never. I, I never personally want to think that any of that is real. Yes, um, it is obviously, right? Unfortunately, but. Um, I back the movie. If the movie, honestly, is, is is exclusively about that, then what is there to fight at? What, what is there to fight about, guys? Um, if it's going to start name-dropping celebrities, that's a really good thing. Because I don't think that if you're going to start making a movie like this, guys, um, and then you start talking about random celebrities, like, by name, like, guys, defamation is a thing. And if they're not getting sued for it, that's probably that's probably even scarier, guys. Okay, just gonna let you guys know. Like, if the if the celebrities themselves, even though they're public figures, are not like suing the film, then I think that probably in, that in itself is probably extremely telling, at least, guys. Um, I do not know how true the Rock situation is, guys. I don't know. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't feel very true regarding this, right? Um, now there is, um, again, there is something online, but I do not know the source, right? It's, it's coming from something called EV magazine. No idea what it is. Didn't click on the link. Just read the description and where, where you see the rock, right? Um, so I don't know really the rocks correlation to Mel Gibson neither. Um, and I don't, I didn't hear anything about Oprah. Not really even like we know Oprah, uh, apparently is not liked by a lot of people, right? Um, uh, because of the school, obviously, that she was a part of in uh, South Africa, guys. Um, but all right, guys, listen, let me know in the comments. I mean, I definitely would like to see more, but I don't think this video very specifically um, like said any like nail in the coffin type of things, guys. It, it, uh, it feels very open-ended, right? Um, Nothing extremely concrete yet. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. And if there is something concrete, let me know, guys. I'm definitely here to react to this, guys. All right? Catch you guys later.